<laughs> hey y'all so i hope you're having a great day um and today today's dear diary is um is about conversation so basically what happened was i was signing this man up we were having a great conversation he was a white man um and then i just wound up asking him oh like what do you do because i see him come in with like just this red shirt on and it has like a symbol or emblem on there so i'm like oh he's probably a fire marshal but i asked him just because we were having a conversation um just you know making small talk so we were we were talking and he said oh i'm a cop and instantly instantly like i i like froze and instantly like you know like i looked at him and it was just like uh, oh and for one, the fact that he didn't even make that connection of like me being a black woman, that's why I like stopped and I looked. And it wasn't super duper abrupt, but in my opinion, it was noticeable. So the fact that like he didn't even make that connection, like that 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 deserves to be like spoke about. That that deserves to, you know, have be highlighted because of the fact that like there are some white people out here that have good, genuine hearts. But at the end of the day, they'll never understand and they'll never recognize why people move the way that we move, you know? And I feel like it says a lot that he that he didn't notice that, but that's not what I wanna talk about. I wanna talk about a mistake that I feel like I made. So basically, I told him how I felt about cops and you know, like it's not necessarily, they're not people that I necessarily, you know, like am dying to have a conversation with and talk to. And so at that point I was very transparent. So I was proud of myself about it, but it's just like some of the things that he said, I didn't agree with. And instead of me addressing them and being mature, you know, about it and, and having a conversation, I froze and I felt like, you know what, I don't want to say this. I don't want to offend him. I don't want to. And I know it's like so some, sometimes it may feel like it's just so far off, but it's like I don't want to die if I offend a person that carries a gun that can get away with certain things. And I just feel like that's what needs to be that's what it needs to talk about like stuff like that has to happen and not necessarily die but you have to you have to be willing to have a conversation you have to be willing to be uncomfortable and truly state how you feel in order to in my opinion effectively cause change like you can't be afraid to not say certain to, to say and not say certain things because of how somebody else feels when it's not even just a feeling that's affected when it comes to black people it's literally their whole life so that's one of the things that I just wish I would have done better. And it's like, yes, I'm all here for the protests. I'm all here for, you know, making them hear us and making them see that they cannot move the way that they've been moving. But at the end of the day, conversation is what ultimately needs to happen. Because, yes, we can act irate. We can get you to understand that we have something to say. And you need to hear us and you need to listen. But what we say and how we say it is just as equally, if not more important. And so I wish that whoever else... Um, is in that predicament where they're able to effect change and change the way that somebody like sees a race or sees black people like I want you guys to know how to do that and it starts with having a conversation it starts with not being fearful you know what I'm saying so think about it and, and, and create your own feelings create your own thoughts and then when the time comes because God will position you in a put you in a predicament to to challenge you and test you and make you uncomfortable but from that comes growth when you're put in that position when you're given that opportunity do not waste it and while I really appreciate again the conversation I had with that man the fact that he believed that like only Dave Chavez should be the one that's you know persecuted or you know should be dealt with the fact that he thinks that it's only one that's what I wish I would have addressed more passionately and more more honorably not only to me but in my opinion to my race because if you think that it's just one officer that's out here causing the problem then that is the problem and and again it to me that really that's a deck that's a direct representation or connection to why him not realizing that me getting tense and me feeling a certain type of way about the fact that you just said what your occupation was is a that's that like that's the reason that's the problem like you should understand in my opinion or or not you should understand if you don't understand we should be able to help you understand and, and realize and just recognize how other people may feel about certain things because I feel like so often black people are raised to not be disrespectful to not you know do certain things but and, and honestly to be able to recognize when somebody is uncomfortable 
but I don't know if it's the same for white people. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if, if they're really that intuitive to certain things. And the only way for them to be is for you to talk to them. It's for you to have that conversation. So for the people that, you know, are put in those situations and, you know, you feel like, oh, let me not say nothing because I don't want to go off. I don't want to do that. I challenge you. I urge you to, to push yourself to do more than what honestly most people expect from black people have that conversation you can be passionate you can show that you are you know honestly offended by the ignorance that certain people have and correct them on it but you have to do it in a sense of like your emotions aren't clouding what you have to aren't clouding what you have to say you see what I'm saying? And so that's what today's Dear Diary is about. First, recognize that we have to have conversation. Recognize that it's going to be uncomfortable. It's going to be tough. But it is so worth it. And fear, fear is the last thing that we need to stop us. Because honestly, if we were to think about it, maybe we riot and maybe we protest and maybe we do all of this because we're scared. And so we overcompensate and we act like we're tough and we act like we're macho and we act like we're, you know, we're okay when really we're not. So yes, the fear may drive you to, you know, want to be heard, but the fear shouldn't stop you from saying what needs to be said. And the fear shouldn't also just be the things that be the thing that drives your anger. But then when it comes to like people actually wanting to hear what you have to say, you don't know what to say. So yeah, have the conversation, be uncomfortable. Be mature, be be classy and and talk to them and talk to people about everything. Because one thing I will also say is I don't need you to believe that it's just a white cop that I feel threatened by. It's a cop. It's the people that have the that feel like they have the authority and the power to take my life because they feel offended, to take my life because they have this vendetta that was never, you know, resolved when they were younger. You know what I'm saying? Like, there are so many reasons that people become cops. There are so many reasons that people abuse power. So it's not just limited to a white man, even though that is, you know, the 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 people that have necess that have you know mostly just oppressed us. But it's not just a white cop. It's not just a cop. It's people that that are ignorant. People that don't know. People that just assume. It's it's all of that. So have a conversation, understand why you feel what you feel and be able to articulate it when the time comes. Because when you're put in that position to make change, I just hope and I pray that whoever you are, you do it. And yeah, I just I just hope that you do it. There are so many opportunities that we get where we may seem it may seem minute and like it doesn't matter, but they matter. They matter because I can tell you so many times there are people that have come up to me and told me, I remember just this specific this, this specific statement that someone said. I remember the specific thing that this person did. You never know that you what you say could be could be that specific thing that changes people's lives, that that helps them move in a manner of like, okay, I feel like this, but I'll never do that because I know that this is how it could come off. So, I mean, I know I went over the time I really like to keep my my new videos on but just have a conversation guys and please do not be fearful we were given a choice for a reason choice we were given a voice for a reason and we were given the choice to to stand up to speak to say what needs to be said and it doesn't always have to be on a microphone it happens with conversations like that that's it I'm done I promise I hope you have a great day